We're finishing up some of the last interior woodworking projects in our sailboat restoration before we move on to the next step. And let me tell you, there's some crazy stuff coming up beyond the horizon. Finally. So let's enjoy this nice and easy DIY cabinet build before we have to batten down the hatches. This is Luke and I'm Lori and we're pouring our hearts and souls into saving this abandoned sailboat in order to make it our off-grid home. We have weathered a lot of storms along the way, but if you want to see us splash and sail into that sunset, subscribe to their channel, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. I've been breaking my head trying to find a solution for the space behind the sink in the head of our sailboat, and we finally found these sliding door options that could maximize the space of our little cabinet. So they sell this trail for three meters, which is way more than we need. Um, but this one is the same as the top. All of the other options have a different top. I can see they have a different system on top and bottom. So this one we can buy three meters and then use a meter a meter, right? So we have less waste. Hey babe, do you think our, our car is three meters long? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think the Ferrari is three meters? <laughs> the car is, is three meters. <laughs> the car is three meters long. What are we gonna do? <laughs> okay, this super nice guy told us if I just stick it up coming out of the window, it's like an antenna and nobody will say anything to us. This is only possible in Brazil probably. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay. All right, it's good to go. Look at this. I slammed my head on the garage door because somebody didn't open it up all the way and I had my hood over my eyes and I didn't see it. I walked full force, full force into the door. Got instant whiplash. I'm making the cabinet here. It's a sliding cabinet. So we found our trail with our wheels and everything. It was a great deal for this kit and I'm installing it. But as you can see, I'm installing it in order to access this cabinet back here. But as you can see, there's this little tiny area on the side and we weren't gonna really use it because there's going to be a sink here, a faucet. So I don't know. I know that we want to get this boat done as soon as possible, but that little tiny space, oh, it's tempting me. And I really want to make it into a secret toothbrace and toothbrush holder area kind of thing. So if you just keep sliding the door a little bit more, you can find this little tiny access point. But I know that everybody is going to make fun of me for caring about something so ridiculously small, but the problem is, is I can't help myself. All right, in order to install the sliding door, I need a top case piece that is level. And in order to level that, I have to figure out how to level a triangle. Basically, this pizza slice going on here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm working with a negative space.
give a special shout out this week to Marchin, Obi and Lori, and Paul. Our project is made possible by supporters like you, and we can't thank you enough. If you want to know more about what we're doing and get exclusive updates every week, join our crew on Patreon and help us keep the journey alive. embedded inside of the wood but then there's this little sliver that comes out and then even this part this little plastic piece comes out even further and I wasn't really counting for that as much so I had already cut the one and a half perfectly to receive the rail but now I'm gonna have to find a way to separate the cabinet from this piece and so I grabbed a six millimeter which is just about perfect to receive that extra piece, especially that little screw over there. So what I'm gonna do is, this is just the width of my cabinet. I'm going to glue this onto the back of this rail just to have a spacer. The rest doesn't need it. I'm gonna do that to the top too. So that's gonna give us a nice area for that to pass between my cabinet and the door. And then we can install it. I'm excited. Then I have to figure out how to put this inside of the wood. I really hope that I have this size to cut it. Let's see. just about to put this rail on my piece but as you can see it is it has this little tooth coming out here so when it goes on I have a feeling it's gonna go on permanently so I talked to the painting department and they said because I have this extra piece to give a gap between the cabinet and give some space for the wheels they said it's important to laminate this to, to put on um, like a veneer 
to get rid of this texture and the edge of it. So this is gonna be laminated first and then, and also treated and sealed. So the inside of this rail is also treated and sealed. So this is gonna go first before I put the rail on. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to test the door without the rail in just this groove that I created and see if that works. And then later we'll send it to paint and we'll put the rail on only in the end, I guess. That is the technique of this. These little holes, these are going to be hidden by the countertop, so that's not a big deal. Um, and those can be visible, but... Alright, so let's test out our door. It's a big moment. I've been waiting for this for so long, so let's see if it works. Here it goes. The moment of truth. I don't even know how to put this on. I'm just too excited to ask anybody for help. It says soupy. What the fuck? Why did they cut it so small? What was it? What is this? I didn't cut this, I didn't cut this door. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this and it's so small. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why did he cut it so small? Okay. Cut. Cut. While I wait for the door to be recut, I started working on the inspection hatch that will give us access to our vent loops. It will be a hidden panel behind the shower cubby wall. It's in there, still little adjustments to be made, but here is our cabinet. And then we have our extra space here for like toothbrush, toothpaste, and other fun stuff that are more vertical. And there we go. Fantastic. Now there is going to be some spacing around. We just to make some adjustments when the actual rail is in. There's no rail right now. That's why there's a large space on both sides. You can make adjustments within the, the wheels itself and it's just gonna lift it up a little bit already. So that, sh that space on top should be divided by the top and the bottom. So ignore that for now. Something like this, it will end up once the rails are in. But for now, it's sitting right there in the wood. But I'm overjoyed. I'm super excited about it. Now I'm gonna, this is a cosmetic thing. I can I think I could fill that with a little bit of putty and get as much of that little tiny piece of metal hidden and then, I don't know, kind of put a little piece of wood here. Not a big deal at all, looking great. Maybe even if I put a little angled trim here to make like a curved edge, then it'll look even better. But, all right, next thing, let's test out this magnet. Yay! Loving it. Super cool. Remember how I said things were getting crazy? Well, we are ripping out everything in our boat. And that's not even the wildest part. Tune in next week to find out why. <laughs>